Hello, everybody. We're here at the Diamond Run Mall on WSYB, our Facebook page. Uncle Dave with me, and we're awaiting the national champion Rutland High cheerleaders. Three straight state championships, uh, three straight uh, New England championships they'll be looking for. We're awaiting their arrival in second. They'll be getting a police escort here, and we'll have an opportunity to talk to uh, Kara and Gotham. And what a dynasty Rutland High has put together. And some people are saying here in the parking lot that they were successful in school today when they just released the model winning national championship teams out there. And they were sports hard to get the reasons for the Rutland High cheerleaders and we're waiting for that bus to arrive any second here. As I look, <laughs> a couple of minutes ago they were only like a 500 yards down the road. I don't know what's keeping them here. Well, the word is, the word is when they hit the Rutland Town line, uh, they were picked up by the escort. And so they have police and fire escort on their way in right now, Jack. So that's what we're waiting on. They uh, should hit the Diamond Run Mall here shortly. They were going to try to buzz the stoplights as they come through town. Don't know if they were successful with that. So we are here live, though, and we're waiting on them to show up so we can uh, help celebrate, as you stated, one of the most successful athletic programs in the state. They're at Christ the King as we speak, uh, down on uh, yeah. South Main Street. We're down at the uh, end of South Main Street, Route 7 South uh, here at the Diamond Run Mall. There are people here. We have uh, posters. Uh, that uh, Hold up the posters. Hold up the posters. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, people here. We've got people with posters. Families here. We just saw Chip Fort. His daughter's on the bus, of course, a part of the team. Say hi, everybody. You're live on WSYB. 1380 AM as well as 100.1 FM. Dave Allaire is here. Happy to be here. Right on, Dave. Great support here. Even though we're all hardy Vermonters, we wish it, actually this was yesterday. <laughs> 75 degrees or something instead of like 20. It is right now. Don't buy McDonald's. All right, they should be here any second. The uh, national champions, they would have been in Ocean City, Maryland, of course, a quick turnaround. They had the state championship, of course, uh, here in the state of Vermont, and quickly I went off on the on the bus to Ocean City, uh, Maryland, and we're going to talk to uh, Kara Govan, and we're going to talk to a couple of the uh, cheerleaders too, if we can. Can you help me get that on? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can you help me get on the glove? Oh, get on the glove. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, fit, you must have quit. Yeah. <laughs> or if it doesn't are... fit, you must have quit, or whatever it goes. You are a Seinfeld fan, aren't you? Oh, you bet. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, my goodness. Jack, tell me, has any cheerleading team, like, I mean, I know we've seen a few other schools in the area, you know, win some championships, but there's never been a run like this in Vermont State no, history. No, I mean, uh, certainly, and I've talked to uh, Kara so uh, many times over the years, uh, Kara Govan, of course, uh, as it is, let's say, in uh, basketball uh, where the – uh, Detroit Pistons had the Celtics they had to beat, and, and then uh, the Chicago Bulls had Detroit they had to beat. You know how it go? And uh, for Rutland for many years, it was Essex. And I said to Carol one time years ago, are they the evil empire? And, well, they're not anymore because there's a new sheriff in town. This is a new dynasty, and it's been a dynasty for a while. Hey, we got someone now. Oh, she's, she's already the here. Bus and she's here. What'd you, what'd okay. You do, run ahead of the bus. Ah, <laughs> oh, we hear the fire trucks and the police sirens. We can hear the sirens. Okay. So they will be arriving here shortly. They're on their way. We can hear them. I think you can probably hear it here. We're live at the Diamond Run Mall waiting on the Rutland High School cheerleading team, the new national champions, coming in. From Ocean City, Maryland is where the national championships were. Here she comes were held. Yeah, come on over and put your coat on. Yeah, with well, Alexa, <laughs> she's waiting for you. Oh, my God. My Take a shot here of the bus coming in. Jack Healy, see ya. <laughs> Probably going to have to get you after they get here. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah we'll we hear about, oh, we see the here. lights off in the distance. Here we go. Here we go. They're on their way up. National chance. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Oh, 
Say go Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> right on. So we're headed up. Here we go. Which way do you... It went past. We're going to come up the front way and come up the long way. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got the more, more time to talk to you then. Hey, I'll tell you what. While we're waiting, let me ask you this. Uh, did you enjoy the game the other night, Jace, or, uh, yes, Kyle, Ka Kyle Casarino getting his 1,000th point? It's been a great weekend for Rumble High, hasn't it? Oh, hasn't it, though? And they ended up with the, I think, the, what, the number two seed for yeah, the tournament? Will, uh, it officially comes out tomorrow, but CBU will be number one, Rutland will be number two. In the right, game. and you'll have that on the Proctor Gas Morning right. Show? Uh, well, the next day. It comes out like at maybe 10, 11 o'clock. Oh, okay, well, there you go. But uh, we I'm, should have it. We uh, should, well, we're, Jack, you're usually good with the APR. I mean, we should be able to figure out a, a, rough, a rough draft. Yeah, we should have that on the website and so forth. Congratulations, Rutland High. That's another Oh, uh, that's a great one. Rachel, let's see that one. More fans showing up to support Rutland High School. National championship and cheerleading. By the way, I, a shout-out to uh, Kara Govins. Uncle uh, Dick, he's out in the Midwest. Uh, I think it was around ne uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. He goes between Lincoln and Chicago, and he's watching in. So, hi, Dick. Dick Noble, that's Kara's uncle. Say hi to Kara's uncle in Nebraska. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, we've got several people tuning in right now live, so that's great. And it's They're saying it's one of the most, it is the most uh, watched video so far we've done. So, thanks to everybody tuning in. We are live from the Diamond Run Mall. Uh, they are pulling into the parking lot here or pulling into the mall itself. They'll be right around here to the parking lot momentarily as the uh, high school, Rutland High School cheerleaders bus is pulling into a police and fire truck escort. Now, where did they go? We heard them coming in. What, they're right, they're, they're, I, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're swinging all the way around. I don't well, know. I guess they're, go, what, they're going all the way around? Well, they pretty much have to if they came in down near uh, Route yeah. 4. So. Good stuff. Hey, it's great stuff. And it's always nice. Isn't it nice how they always do stuff like this? Yeah. And, and they, let me tell you something. They practice all the time. Of course, uh, the peak, uh, Kara's uh, peak business is here at the, at yes. the Diamond Run Mall. And, and uh, they start off when they're, it's just like, uh, you know, they start off young, uh, four, five, six years old, I guess. Uh, yeah. And, and don't think... Uh, this is a, a different uh, cheerleading than when I was in school. Well, That's I mean, what, it, it really is sure. athletic now, yeah. Jack. I mean, they are true athletes, and not to mention what they add. When you go to a high school football game or a high school basketball game, it really does add something to the atmosphere, and that might be one of the reasons why Rutland High School has one of the best atmospheres for athletics in the state. Yep, no doubt about it. So we're talking about three straight state championships, and they go back further than that, of course. Oh, yeah. And uh, the uh, New England championships are are coming up. I'll ask Kara exactly when it is. Uh, when is the uh, New England set, Chip? Uh, two weeks. In two. A week from this weekend. Uh, okay, a week from this coming weekend. In Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode Island okay. Year, so. so we are live here on SYB's Facebook page. A great in technology, great Jack. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Dave Tibbs and Jack Healy here with you. We're live from the Diamond Run Mall. We are waiting on the Rutland High School cheerleaders. We saw the police and fire truck escort yeah. coming into the mall. We expect for them to be coming around the bend here any moment. This mall is bigger than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's taking them a while to go around. Well, you know, they got the horse and buggy going. They'll get here. And, of course, a lot of the parents uh, went down and of course the uh, school vacation this week I'm going to say uh, it's probably an 8 hour trip 8 to 10 hours to, to get down there and back. Oh good night yeah. it's a drive man and and what down what you probably take it down I-81 until you split off to go to the beach or you might yeah or you go down 95 I guess right. Well yeah, yeah. I forget 81 yeah. goes to Pennsylvania yeah. so if you're going yeah. to Ocean City oh, you want to yeah. cut through Jersey here we go. Here they are. They're Here they come. Around. Coming around we the have bend. sight of them. Coming around the bend. A police and fire truck escort for the national champs. Rutland High School cheerleaders coming in. We are live on SYB's Facebook page with this. Woo! <laughs> 
Light a caravan for the national chance. Some folks showing up at the Diamond Run Mall. Jack? Yeah, it's uh, we're gonna follow that bus to make sure we get a, a word from Carol right off the bat and a couple of the cheerleaders. Alrighty, I'll tell you what, let's go on over. We are live on 1380 AM at 100.1 FM's Facebook page. That is WSY be your source for local sports. Jack Healy and I'm David Tibbs here to cover. Rutland High School returning home after winning a national championship in cheerleading in Ocean City, Maryland. As you can see, they have quite the escort, police and fire trucks, and you can see the premier coach carrying the Rutland High School cheerleaders home in style. Nice gathering as everybody makes way over to the vehicle. We'll catch Kara coming out, Jack Healy here to do the interviews. As you can see, the crowd assembling. And here's your national champions. Yeah, the, the name of the uh, competition, the Reach the Beach National Championship. Here we go, let's see Take it. Take a shot at them. Look at all of Coming off the bus, the Reach the Beach National Championship. Here's Kara, here's Kara. Hey Kara, come on. Come on over, Kara. Come on over. Congratulations. And your uncle's watching in Nebraska. Congratulations. Kara Dobbin, who has been uh, the consistent force of the uh, cheerleading team going way back, uh, all these championships and now the national championship. Tell us a little bit about this one, Carol. The, uh, it's called Reach the Beach, the national championships uh, down in Ocean City, oh, Maryland. What, was, what it was, did it that was, entail? It was great. Um, there's a lot of companies that run national events, but uh, we decided to do one on the East Coast this time, and competition was good. All the teams are you know, qualify based on skill level, so all the teams that you're competing against are at the same level, and they did really great. I, I know you had some uh, what they called individual stunt championships, yeah. and five of your cheerleaders won that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's an optional competition that we entered where the five girls did a stunt routine um, for like a minute and a half and competed against other groups in the country, and they won high school overall. Well, that's right. Now, does that that has a lot to do with the overall championship? Yeah, it does. As well? I mean, okay. we're good stunters, which helps with okay. that. <laughs> so when they uh, when they did well in that, you had the five individual champions. You knew that you were in pretty good shape to win the overall championship. Well, not always, because not all teams enter those optional things. So there could have been really great teams that had not entered. So we weren't really sure, but it certainly was a good way to start the day. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> when they had to be there at 7:15 in the morning. So now they had the stunt championships. What is the difference between the national championship and what you're used to as far as the state competition is concerned? And you have the New Englands coming up another week or two. Yeah, I mean, for us, because the program's evolved so much in the last even 10 years, that um, the competition level for us is much stronger at a, at a higher level at like the national event where there's teams all over. A lot from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, that, that area. Um, and New England's is going to be probably the hardest one yet. Yeah, Our co-ed division is really stacked this year. Yeah, you mentioned a co-ed division because over the years uh, we've had uh, you know, just the, the girls. Yeah. You have uh, the boy and <laughs> there's one boy, right? The one rest boy. Of the girls. Yo, what a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if he, I don't know if he always thinks that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if you're... Michael, uh, yeah. And you, if you can... Uh, 
name all the, I know you have 12 seniors, I... Yeah, I do, I do. Michael is actually a senior. Okay. A lot of the cheerleaders um, who, have, who are seniors have cheered with me since they were like in kindergarten. So... Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> so, um, it's, a, it's a really veteran group here, and um, yeah, Michael's great. He was a great addition to the team, but his presence certainly puts us in a much harder yeah. division for yeah. New England. So it is, it is more difficult for the co -ed. It depends on the year, but this particular year, there are a ton of really good teams in co-ed. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, uh, you want to join the rest That's of the okay. folks here to greet you and uh, so forth and celebrate with your your team. You have a big performance here. Your, your own, uh, uh, yeah, your gym here uh, at the Diamond Run Ball. And uh, you've been the coach uh, and so successful for so many years. And you've talked about that. A lot of the girls have been with you since they were in kindergarten. I mean, how important nowadays it's really... Uh, become so sophisticated. Uh, you know how important it is to have the girls as for the boys start off uh, when they're in kindergarten. Or really I mean, young. I think like any sport, when they start it when they're young, when they're little, they just they get it faster and they become better quicker. And I do think that Vermont, with us being the only gym, a lot of those teams don't have feeder programs, so they and they don't have coach. I mean, this is my 23rd year coaching. <laughs> And so, I mean, I started coaching as a sophomore in college. So, you know, a lot of those teams have gone through coaches, and that doesn't help the program. So, um, unfortunately, Vermont, you know, doesn't have as many of that high-level team as a lot of other states do. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. The five that won the stunt uh, competition off the top of your head. Yep, Maddie Barassa, Maya Sear, Shelby Senegal. Ainsley Pagano and Leah Davis. All right, and uh, you know, uh, one of the dads, uh, Jim Ford, Alex, uh, yep, Ford, Alex a, is a here. member of the championship said, and I agree, you might be the most successful high school team <laughs> in the history of the state of Vermont. I don't All know. those state championships, <laughs> a national championship, and uh, New England championships too. Uh, it just uh, keeps We're pretty lucky. <laughs> <laughs> winning, we never hard. Gets, winning never gets old, does no, it? No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. <laughs> You've done such a great job. We're all so proud Thank of you. Thank you and, so and, much. And the youngsters, uh, we really, really appreciate everybody coming oh, out well, like this. And we'll catch you soon. We want you to, uh, down at the studio. Okay. We have an opportunity. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'd like to get you in maybe a week. Have you on the drive, too? Yeah, we have, um, we have well, three weeks till New England. Oh, so. it's three weeks now. Okay. Yeah, it's March 18th. Yeah, okay, it's March 18th. Okay, so... Yeah. And, 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 so that's a little ways away. Yeah, we got to we gotta really. When you, when you kind of settle in, we'd like to talk to the, sure. to the youngsters and everything. And uh, not only on the air, but maybe we can talk to a few here. But yes, absolutely. I'll grab a few. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jack. Okay, great. Bye, Uncle Dick down in, uh, in <laughs> yeah, the Nebraska. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Congratulations. Thank you. Michael. Hey, uh, Alex. Uh, Alex. There you go. Yeah, Alex. Work. All right, hi. Hi. Who do we have here? You're gonna, you're on WSYB Live. Yes, I'm sorry. What's your name? Kelsey. Kelsey. And uh, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. You're a junior. Well, tell us a little bit about your experience. Uh, of course, you've won a state championship. You've won a couple of those already. Yeah. And um, you've been down in the national championship. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think we did really well. It's probably the best performance that we've ever put out on the mat, and it felt really good, especially that we were down in Maryland. And winning was just really fun. I guess winning is really fun, isn't it? Yeah. I like would just said with your coach, it never gets old, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. And how long have you been, uh, if you're a junior, how long uh, have you been associated with Kara and the peak performance? Um, it's been a while since I was pretty little. And, that's, and you've always wanted to be on uh, the cheerleading team? I don't know. Yes, always. I love my teammates. We've all grown together and cheered together, oh, so it's a lot better. That's terrific. Oh. Thank you very much. You're Congratulations, welcome. Thank Kelsey. Thank you. Oh, hi. Tony, who's a former Rollins cheerleader, and this is our one guy. Hello, Michael. How are you? Okay, we'll talk. You just said with uh, Kara, what a lucky guy. You're the only guy in like, uh, you know, 200 girls. I mean, how good is that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, now, what year are you in? 
I'm, I'm a senior. You are a senior, okay? And, and how long ago did you want to become, a, you know, be a part of the cheerleading? Uh, they've been asking me to do this for a couple of years, but I didn't start until about three months ago. Really? And, 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 and tell us a little bit about your experience down there with the national championship. It was, it was insane. It was crazy. There were so many teams. Everyone was so good. Speak up. And we finally we hit our routine. It was just, it was just the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Okay. Now, how? Uh, you know, you, you've already been in the New England's, uh, you've been in the, well, actually, this is your first year, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this was the first experience you had, not only, obviously, the national, <laughs> you got the uh, New England's in a couple of weeks, but also the state uh, tournament. Did you feel more pressure at the state tournament or this one, or was this kind of gravy? I, I actually felt more pressure at states because we had a lot more people in the stands for us. But this was just so much fun. I didn't really feel pressure. It was just such a good time. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And, and congratulations. Uh, and best of luck. Uh, Thank you. Mike, the male cheerleader here. And your coach again, assistant coach, and we have an opportunity here. I, I'm i sorry. Yeah. Uh, come on. Hey. I'm sorry, your first name. I'm sorry. Dominique. Dominique. And uh, you, how was it working with uh, the master here? The uh, it's really awesome. Actually, Tara coached me four years ago, so getting to work by her side now is really cool. Avery. Yeah, this is a, it, it, and we talked already with a, a couple of, about your assistant coach now, but watching uh, the, the younger ones come up, a peak performance, and it, I mean, it takes so much work. To, I mean, it really does. I mean, a lot of people say, well, they work hard, but... You do. I mean, I, you know, back when I, and I'm a lot older than you, back when I was uh, in high school, the cheerleaders, uh, you know, basically, uh, rah, 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 and that was it. <laughs> now yeah, it's all really, kinds it's of stuff. Really grown. Yeah. Really yeah. Now, what is the preparation uh, going to be like uh, for New England? So, uh, do they get a couple of days off? Or, um, they have Monday and Tuesday off, okay. and then we're back again, regular practice, about three weeks before we go on to New England. Well, I, I wouldn't bet against you. Congratulations. Thank you very much for talking to us here. Yes, we're talking to the national champions uh, from Rutland High and the cheerleading squad here. And uh, they just got back from Ocean City, Maryland. And, uh, what a terrific job. That's, uh, that's for sure. What can you do? You, I mean, the national champions. Hey, what can you say? Now, Alex Ford is supposed to be here. Where's Alex? Alex! <laughs> Alex! Alex, come on over. Alex Ford, the, the famous Ford family. You know? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Good. Congratulations. Good. Yeah, and I, I know that uh, you came back in with your parents. And, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your week. It, 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 let's go back to the state, uh, the state championships, and then because uh, there was a quick turnaround before you guys went into the bus. Yeah. Workout. Tell us a little bit about the last week. Um, so last week we've been practicing very hard. You know, came back from winning a state title, and that was amazing. My team wanted to go to the competition, be better, and be better, and improve in our skills. Like we did, we won a national championship, so we were prepared very well. Our coaches did a great job, and our team had a great positive attitude. So it's amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and you've been working at uh, peak performance, yes. right? Uh, yeah. I, when, how old were you when you first started to and when be interested? Um, I did gymnastics since I was like two years old, and so I did competitive gymnastics throughout up in Burlington when I was in sixth grade. And then I moved on to cheer. Um, throughout that time, I was also doing cheer to the peak, and then. You know, since I was very little, I'd probably say to estimate the whole thing. <laughs> now, what year are you? I was a senior. You are a senior. Yeah. yeah, so you're one of the seniors, one of the 12 seniors. What a, a, a special way. Yes. Well, one thing we haven't mentioned, uh, you won the, uh, of course, the national championship, the state championship. Also, a couple of months ago, it was the first year, I didn't mention this with Kara, the first year of uh, what they called the in uh, oh, uh, on the end uh, game, uh, game day, yeah, game day. Yeah. but you guys won that one yeah, too, it's South Burlington, you won everything! Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that, that day, that was back in South Burlington, I yes, believe, that was right? South yeah. um, that was more of a, you know, cheerleading back in the day, it was more game day cheer, which is more yeah. sideline cheerleading, so it's more about the games, you know, cheering up football players, basketball players, would be. Um, it was very different, but we went in again with the positive attitude, to 
work hard and have an amazing coach to help us and won another yeah, title. Yeah, I know so. you did. It. Was that something where the uh, the public address announcer would say, okay, you just yes. uh, got a touchdown, yes. how do you react? You just got a yep. first down. All about how sports. Do you, how do you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's an extra competition. You yeah. guys won that. And, uh, yeah. and you got a couple of weeks off before, not sure you have a couple of weeks off. One weekend, yeah. Yeah, practice. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, you, you, we've asked this of a few of the other uh, participants about uh, you, you had the the state cheerleading competition, yep. uh, the pressure you felt for that versus going to the national yes. championship, was it kind of like whatever we do with the national championships is kind of gravy, or did you feel the same kind of pressure? Same, I feel like we, well, I personally went under the same type of pressure, wanting to personally be my best, and also to the best of the team on the school. And so I think the team went, you know, takes every competition just as seriously as the next and wants to improve as we continue and evolve as a team. So I think we definitely took it with the same amount of pressure. You know, we're out of state, we're also representing our school and state. Um, so I think we went in with just the same amount of pressure, but maybe a little higher representing our school and stay out of state first school. Now, I know your dad uh, might be uh, a little bit prejudiced because his daughter is a member of the, the, the cha championship team, but I, w I might add that I agree with him, the most successful uh, high school uh, team in the history of the state of Vermont with all those state championships, New England championships, and also uh, a national championship. It's crazy. I'm uh, very excited. I be more proud of my team. So. And, you, uh, and uh, it should be a good uh, day of school tomorrow. I know. I'm excited. Oh, my God. I can't even think about it. <laughs> hey, thanks, Alex. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you Congratulations. So much. You're Thank a you so much. national champion. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, another one of the national uh, championship uh, young ladies. And we talked to the young gentleman. And uh, for people that don't know, Alex's dad, Chip Fort, who uh, was a great athlete here at uh, Rutland High in football and uh, went on to have a, a nice college career at uh, Tulane uh, as well. So the generations go by, Uncle Dave, and uh, how proud are we of uh, oh, it, all it, the people here in Rutland and uh, this uh, fine uh, group of young ladies. It's and such a wonderful man, thing. Uh, and by the way, Dick Noble has chimed in. He says, thanks, Jack. It's been great. And Kara's grandma was thrilled to listen uh, to the uh, interview. Uh, Kara, your grandma's also listening, by the way. Uh, <laughs> hey, Florida? I guess she, she, uh, Dick says she was listening, so. Okay, she's with my aunt in Florida, so. <laughs> right on. Okay, I got to tell you, check. you got a dynasty. Is it a dynasty? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. We'll catch you uh, soon. Thank you. Best yeah, I'll be in touch. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, Jack, uh, you want to wrap? i chills, and I, it's not just from the cold. <laughs> I'm just thrilled for them. Congratulations. All righty. Well, we're going to wrap it up here then uh, for Jack Healy, uh, David Tibbs. I had a blast. Thanks. Yeah, me too. And it was great to be here. And uh, we always love being your source for local sports. And believe me, these ladies are athletes, no doubt about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> no doubt about it. Right on. Hey, congratulations again to the Rutland High School Cheerleaders National Champs for 2016-2017. We're signing off. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Jack will have you on the Proctor Gas Morning Show, and I'll see you on uh, the Magic Bus on 94.5 The Drive. Take care, everybody. Say bye, Jack. Bye, Jack.